What's up, everybody? This is DDS, and I'm back. I know I haven't uploaded in two weeks, man. It's crazy to even think that I've been gone for two weeks, but had some stuff going on in my personal life, so now I'm back to it. Haven't made a beat in a while, actually, so I'm about to do that. I got Logic pulled up on a computer, so I'm going to be using Logic for this beat making. I'm not really sure what I'm going to make right now, but I'm just about to mess around, see what I can come up with. Like I said, it's been a minute since I actually made something, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get started with that. So... I think today for just so I get quick inspiration, let me go ahead and I'm gonna open up this one first though. I'm gonna open up my drums, have them right there. I know I have machine there, but I may not use machine dumbs. Let me change that to drums. I may not use machine today or for this beat specifically. Uh, let me go ahead and open up arcade so I can get some quick inspiration. All right, we got arcade loaded up. One of the first things I like to do is I always like to resize this. I don't like it taking up all that space personally. So that's the first thing I usually do. And uh, let me see what I'm about to go to. One thing I love about arcade, so much inspiration, so much inspiration. like that one. See, I like that already. <laughs> I like it already. So I'm about to go ahead and just play around, figure out which key I want to use. Speed it up a little bit. Use that one. I like to set that so I always remember. So I'm gonna use, I'm hitting two notes, but let me see what else is here. I think I'm gonna add that like that because I like to have two variations when I'm using these. I got that. Let me go ahead and make another uh, label this loop. Loops. I'll duplicate this so I can build on it and I'm using track alternatives if you guys aren't familiar with that I'll do a video on it I forgot who it was but someone in the comments told me about it and I believe uh, I had a couple people actually tell me about it and it's actually been very helpful in a lot of ways so I appreciate them letting me know I got to figure out who who told me that so I get them credit in the uh, description Duplicate this. Looks like find me another thing to throw in here. Probably a vocal. I like that. Try these Detroit type drums out. See what they sound like on this beat.
just want to see if there's something, another loop I can add to this. Because basically this is all loops minus the drums. But I feel like if I add too much to it, it's going to be too much. So I'm just going to see what I can mess around with. So that's it for this. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, arrange this real quick and I can show you guys how I arrange it quickly. Uh, like I said, this was just me warming up basically. First beat in a minute. So feels good to be back. And then like I went to the instant inspiration using arcade. So this was like an arcade beat making video. All of this was loops except for the drums. So I'm going to go ahead and label these real quick though. All right, let me go ahead and go like this. Show inactive. These are all the track alternatives. So yeah, pretty much what I'm gonna do with these. Arrange this this way. I know where my drums are by. A is usually my intro, not my intro, my verse. The B is the second part to the verse. C is the hook, second verse, second part, hook. Basically like that, and I can make changes to it. I just have to figure out what I'm going to do with this part. So I know that my hook is going to be over here. So I move this over here. Move these drums over here real quick. Uh, move this. Everything's going to come in at this point. So I might as well just move them all over there. And then I like this one. So I'll move this one up here. This will be what I open it with. So I'll just say loop intro. All right. So that's set. I don't need any drums going. I'm going to. Copy this over here. See what it sound like for the intro. I like that, I like that. So this is gonna be, I don't need to show this track alternative anymore because I already dragged it out of there. Drag these all the way over here. And then from here, just a matter of picking my next arrangements. I'm gonna try it like this though, just to see how this sounds. Like this. Make it to where I can see everything. And like I said, I know this is my first uh, verse drums. So stretch those out to there. Let's go to B, take these, drag them out of here. And I probably should label them, or at least my hook drums, so that way I won't get confused when I need to go back to my hook. So, to the hook. so to hear what it sound like now.
So yeah, that's the whole beat. Uh, I would consider this to probably be a, uh, it's kind of the lines of a Detroit type beat in the sense with the drums and everything. If you uh, follow my beat channel, you'll see I've been dropping a lot of those. I haven't been on there, like I said, a lot been going on these past couple weeks. So I'm getting back into the groove of things. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like I said, my first beat back in a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this down. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you need help using machine, I have my video course up on teachable.com and it's entitled How I Use Machine. I cover everything from how I start a beat to finishing the beat. The link is in the description below. So if you need help with machine, go check that out. Hopefully you enjoy the video.